Good morning. Say hello. What are you eating? Uh, what are you eating? Hey guys, welcome to another video. I think you're really going to like this one. We're going to go over a bunch of different uh, ways that Abigail, my nonverbal autistic daughter, uh, communicates. And stay tuned to the end because we are going to be teaching her a new uh, word in sign language that she can use on a regular basis. It's a pretty important word to her. Abigail has a lot of different forms of communication. Uh, she uses an iPad for communication, which you'll see in a minute. She does some modified sign language, so that's different from ASL, uh, American Sign Language. And then she uses body language quite a bit. A lot of her, her language that she uses, like this body language, um, is, is just something that we learn from being around her all the time, of course. When she's happy, when she's sad, when she's, when she's upset about something. Um, she doesn't really need to communicate emotions, and, and she doesn't really have the capacity, though, to understand the need to communicate emotions, how she's feeling. I, I don't know that she necessarily understands emotions as, he, as in being able to give them a definition, like this is how sad feels, or this, how, this is how happy feels. Most of her communication is done through, uh, or, or done for wants and needs. Um, this one, for example, she is signing for bathroom a lot, and she's not necessarily asking for bathroom. She does scroll through her signs. Uh, she had actually just gone to the bathroom. Um, that's more of like attention seeking. Uh, so we really have to read, you know, what's going on around us at the time to fully understand what she's communicating and what she's asking for. And I think it's really important to understand that nonverbal. Uh, is not necessarily a trait of, of autism. Uh, autism is an, an individual diagnosis, but there are comorbidities that go along um, with autism. Not all the time, sometimes. Sometimes they go hand in hand. Sometimes, they're, you know, some are more frequent than others. Abigail also has a pica diagnosis, which means she will mouth inedible objects. Uh, she did a lot more of that when she was younger. And, and you often see that with autism, but it does not... It's not part of autism, if that makes sense. Same thing with her, with her communication, uh, or, or lack there, you know, lack thereof of verbal communication. She can't talk, and, and that could be a diagnosis of, of uh, apraxia, or it could be a diagnosis of, you know, of, of anything else, but that's not necessarily autism. Um, she also has sensory processing disorder that oftentimes goes hand in hand with autism, but there are, there are, Children and adults that have sensory processing disorder and don't have a diagnosis of autism. Some of her, her behaviors are also communication. Like when she ran getting a drink, it's because she was excited. She was doing a good job. And that's a behavior that it, that is also a communication. Abigail, Abigail uses an iPad to communicate. And we are pushing more and more use of that iPad. Uh, she'll combine sign language with her iPad uh, quite a bit. But... But the cool thing about the Ooh, iPad is that it's universal. Anybody can understand it because it gives her a, a voice, just a natural voice that she can use in, in the everyday world. She doesn't just have to rely on her parents or caregivers to understand what she's saying with her modified sign language or, or body language. That stuff works at home and at therapy and at school, but the iPad will give her much more access to the world. So we really work on that um, in speech therapy and just throughout the day at home, getting her to use that more and more. Now, here are some of Abigail's modified signs. We'll just run through them real quick. Uh, but if you've been watching our videos for a while, you know that we always have an after the beep. And her, one of her favorite, my favorite signs that Abby does is at the after the beep on this. It's something that Summer taught her. It's pretty cute. Show me golf cart. Up high. Up high. Up high. Golf cart. Like this. Golf cart. That's right. Hey. Ab. Can you show me cereal? Cereal. Yeah. Show me cracker. That's chip. Show me cracker. Yeah. Can you show me cookie? Cookie. Um, what else do we know? All done? Show me all done? Show me all done. All done. All done. 
Bath. Hey. Can you show me Bath? Bath. Yeah. What is it? Show me help. Do you need help? That's music. That's... Okay, stop. Hands away. Show me help. Show me open. Open. Show me break. 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 Wait. Uh, snack. Mm -hmm. How do you want cookies mm -hmm. or Nature Valley Bar? Which one? Mm -hmm. Show me in your iPad. Nature Valley Bar. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. Abigail's iPad isn't just for communication, she also uses it for entertainment. She likes to watch YouTube videos, uh, scrolls pretty quickly through YouTube videos. She'll listen to music on her iPad. She's into whatever she's into at the time. Sometimes it's roller coasters. Uh, sometimes she'll watch Barney episodes on re repeat, just the first three seconds, though. Limited to the first three seconds of pretty much everything. She'll watch toy unboxing, openings, and whatever. But she has YouTube kids on there. She navigates to that pretty well. She has Spotify with a playlist. I'll have to post one of her playlists sometime. Uh, yeah, that's it's not just a communication device. We want her to love her iPad. We want her to be able to communicate with it and uh, and also just enjoy having it so it's on her at all time. One problem we do have, though, is the battery runs out super quick when she's on it all day, but that's pretty typical for most kids. The most important thing to me is that my daughter's happy. And she's clearly very, very happy. One of the keys to keeping her happy is, is increasing her communication. One of her biggest frustrations and when she has her angry moments and her meltdowns comes from an inability to communicate. So, you know, it's our job to give her the tools that she needs to communicate and, and have access to the world and to stay happy. Okay, so we have done this before mm -hmm. in a video. <laughs> we taught you a sign. Do you remember what that sign was? Do you remember what that sign was? Cereal? I don't know. We were at a cereal. fast food restaurant when we were traveling. And we mm -hmm. taught her a sign. I know one. I taught her this one. Hey. That's not a sign. <laughs> I don't remember this one. one. I don't hey. remember which one Wait, it was. Is it? Yep. Yeah, she did. She did learn this. Yeah. Yep. So, but we have a sign that's gonna be really useful to Abigail because she always signs for the wrong thing, huh? What is this? That is close. It is. It is not a cookie. It's a donut. And I'm gonna show you how to how to say donut. Okay. Here, look. What we're gonna do? What's your preferred signing hand? What do you think? I think it's her left. Her left. Okay. Can you go like this? Watch. Watch. You ready? Show this. Look at Dad. Look. We're gonna go. Donut. 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 What is that? That is a. Look at me. Donut. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. you you do it. Mm -hmm. Donut. Good job. Mm -hmm. Would you like a bite of the donut? Yes. All right. There you go. <laughs> All right. Good this job. So good. It's best, right? What's that called? It's not a cookie. It's a donut. Close. Donut. Ready? Donut. Hold your hand like that. Donut. So I'm just going to do less and less. Mm -hmm. um, hand over hand. So I kind of just let go over hand a little bit. Donut. Good job. Show me again. Donut. Good job. That was very good. Ready? <laughs> What's that called? What is that? Donut. Abigail with her muscle control, she has to, she has to really focus on what her hands are doing. <laughs> you have chocolate all over your face. <laughs> see, it's a really okay, good donut. Okay, ready? Look, we're gonna make our hand like this. Look at your hand. See it? Like that? Okay. And we're gonna go. Donut. It's so close. Like this. 
donut. Good, Good job. job. Here, <laughs> bring your hand to your face, not your face to your hand. Donut. Donut. See how your hand feels? Ready? Can you do it. Donut. That's good job. Really good, huh? That was great. <laughs> that was excellent. Ooh, we gotta take off smaller pieces yeah. so you can do it more. Okay. What is that? Hold on, let her do it. Okay. What do you want? Yeah, what, what's that called? Great, great, great proximity there. Donut. Donut. Yep, that's perfect. Good job. <laughs> so Summer said there are the sign for donut is like, the, it's like a, this. It's like a the way they explained it on the website. It's like a, can I see? Yeah. It's like a C, and then you're going up to your mouth like this, like donut. Right. Or, or there was you made R's with both uh -huh. your hands, and you did a circle, okay. which. So Abby stems a lot of times with her fingers like this, so we didn't think that would be a good way. Right. So that's why we chose this one. Yes, yeah, so that's why we do modified sign with Abigail. If you notice, like, like Abby, give me a thumbs up. It took a lot of, yep, there we go. It took a lot of work to get her to be able to move her hand like that. We had to manipulate her hand for her um, to get her to feel what that's like. She does have some muscle development that's. Um, uh, delayed in her hands, so it's harder for her to do some of these. Ready? Show me. And mimicry, donut, is also very hard. She can't just look and do what we're doing. Ready? No. Show dad. Donut. You do it. Open up. Donut. Good job. I like that. I didn't even think about the wow. <laughs> sign for food being similar. I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Until she just did I it. I know. <laughs> look, we do this with your hand. Open it. Turn your head. I'm gonna touch here. Donut. Ready? That was good. Donut. Good so job. Good. Good job. Small bite. <laughs> save my fingers. Hold on. Ooh. You're trying so hard. Donut. Good, good job. job. Now there's no motivation, right? Uh -uh. That's not a cookie. Well, what, what, is, what is this? What is that called? No. What is that called? <gasps> Donut. Donut. Good job. Listen, it's all gone. All gone. She's like, no, it's not. I know there's another one in the bag. You guys are lying. Oh. <laughs> but listen, that's all we're going to have tonight. Okay, you ready? What did we just eat? That was so close. I like how you your head up. I like how you're doing your thumb. Because that's different than eat. There donut, yeah. Donut. Donut. Aww. Show me again. Is she open? Yeah. Just try, donut. Yeah. Donut. I like it. Good work. <laughs> okay, we'll work on that. So we'll just continue to use that um, every time that we go get a donut, which yeah. is like every day. Huh. You get a donut every I'm day. I'm so proud of you. Hey, good job. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I'm so proud of you. You're doing Have great. Kiss. <laughs> Communication is awesome. Can I have a kiss? Mm. You give me a kiss. Thank you. <laughs> We're all done. You want to say bye to everybody? Say thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Say, I, I, do that. I love you. You. No, <laughs> you. I, I love you. Should you, you love yourself, I know. You, good job. Nice job. Are you all done?